Temple. That serve is up and across, received by Rochelle. And that's going to get to the green. These kills in early on, disperses the play. Cook sends it over. That's received by Barraza. Set by Adler. Perkins! That's another. Kind of had her role adjusted, playing a different position. And she's returned to that middle slot this year and has played a huge role for the Cougars throughout their opening matches so far. Cougars staying alive very nicely right here. And Christensen's going to finish the up. Received by Marin. Going to be set here by White. Perkins tries to touch that to the line. Good save from Stevens. Johnson sends back over. White to Rothel. Here's Dickin. And that one going to be down and deflected out of bounds by Miller. And really, that's what was, what was so successful for them was just their first contact overall. Good serve right there from Perkins. Kalamazoo able to keep it alive, sent over by Shappy. Now here's Foster, down, saved by Miller. Received by Miller, set by Moby. Adler with a nice little push right there. Again, off the net, received by Perkins. Foster with a powerful kill straight down to the middle of the court, right? Especially with the Hornets having momentum coming into this set, being able to strike first here will be a huge boost for the Cougars. But here's Taylor Stevens blocked at the net by Hunt and Lee. Really, who is making these unforced errors? Who is really hitting the ball in the net? Who's getting these big kills? Who is really just...
in the back row. And now a little trickler over the net. Good diving effort there by Adler. Foster, another attempt that she'll get a kill out of this. 2023, that is really close to summer, which of course is right around the corner from the season. So if he would. For, from Coach. And I think it's very interesting. You're going to almost be finding a struggle at certain times of where we fit in all these players because some of them are just dominating overall. And she just checked out, but I think it should be noted, Michaela Levoy's play, the junior, as a good kill from Eve Dickens. Last couple of years was she was always in the top of the rankings for digs for CUC as well. So not only was she this outstanding offensive for Rothel, here comes Foster, strong attempt there, and Bennett able to get a hand on it, but not able to get back in position. So fight the libero. White serve, clips off the top of the net, and it's enough to trip. Serves it up. Brooke Christensen pass it over to Adler. Harmony Cooper gets up there and gets. Barraza sends that one up to Adler to Foster. That's a big shot from Foster. The junior, and that'll give the Cougars another opportunity to serve here. Shaira Marin sends that one across, received by Bach. Set up by Watson. Kent fees. Attack is under block again and blocked again. Harmony Cooper on a tear. And the Cougars should have a great opportunity here. Set by Adler over to Christensen. Into the block with the box into the net. Point cross. Set by Watson. Over turf. Shoves it over. Hunt forced to just send it across here. Bond bon with an opportunity. Blocked at the line. OG couldn't get it through. Marin sends it across, and that's an ace! Perfectly dropped in! And with the court all dried up, Marin will serve it up once again for the Cougars. Serves up. Received by Box, set by Watson. There's Kent Buffy, blocked at the line by Cooper! Be received by White, set up by Adler here. Now Christensen, nice floater for a kill! Kent Buffy again, received by Marin. Adler puts it up, Christensen drops it in the back corner for either of these teams going down easy here. Set by Adler, Perkins will end it, and the Cougars. Blocked at the line by Perkins, Jordan Harple. And that is an amazing serve on the part of Milena Adler, barely getting over the net. Now, Acacia Brown drops that one in for a point. Received by Christensen, set by Adler over to Foster. Tech another kill on to Foster's day. She's Harrop sends it across, received by Marin, set by Adler. Here's Jess Perkins. Drops that in on the back. Braza's serve is up and across, received by Harrop, set by Watson. Served a bit far ahead. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Gets us started, first serve, and it's gonna be first point for the Cougars. For Christensen, Vikings able to handle it. Big block up front, Acacia Brown and Malena for this point. Adler, she looks for Livesay in the block there, and it goes out, CUC. We'll do the honors for the Cougars. Serve is very strong, but not too strong. Says Justin. And uh, since then, they have outscored them 10 to 6 as Rachel Livesay makes that. And that off the top of the net from Hanke. So you see able to pick it up. And block there is no good. Fairer until a 4 0 scoring run from the Cougars helped them pull away. And a too strong attempt we've had so far. CUC in control of it now. They take a 1-0 lead and a face shot from Lily Hunt. And as Landon is coming from, so a very, very highly regarded program that Lawrence's first year head between CUC and Lawrence in this set. And, excuse me, right now a 6-0 run for CUC has their lead at 9-4. And Livesay, she makes... Neither coach has used one yet in this set too, but at this pace, this match could get, this set could get out of hand quick for the Vikings as CUC, great defense and great offense. Again, and there's Marin again. CUC, Adler to uh, Neva Foster who gets a care to clean it up. Adler for Hunt and Hunt. Ball dies down off the blocker. He has to send over a freebie, Adler. And she looks for Neva Foster. Foster really being in most of the match up until that point. As she re-enters the game and re-enters the game with the service ace. And the push from Adler gets a kill. Christensen receives the attempt in the back row. Here comes Dickin. Dickin off the blocker's hands. Cook. Lives a good dig. Adler keeps it alive, and now Marin just pops it over, and it results in a CUC point. As Rothel, her serve is over. Vikings in control. Here comes Cook, and good dig from Marin, and another dig from Marin. Oh my goodness! Great defense from Shayara Marin. And now Brooke Christensen, her attempt goes nowhere, and that will do it. An errant attempt. Adler. For Hunt. Hunt, strong kill off the blocker's hands. Shai Moran in the back row goes down to a knee to make the play. Here's Perkins and a good kill for Jesslyn Perkins, who. Pizarro. Barraza, excuse me. And she gets the. Ball up. There's Adler. Now for Hunt. Hunt finds the back of the court, just sneaks it in. Perkins 
And out of bounds. Block up front and ball out off the block. See, you see point. It is over. And a dunk there by Perkins. Gets the Cougars another. At this point, have been hitting at a negative 033 mark. As there's a service ace for Marin. Guy and you now Pearson blocked up front. Kasia Brown and Malena and For the Cougars, really they need to capitalize on just picking apart this defense, getting the kills right in the center of the court or between them, like the whatever wing defender pulls back and against them. As there's another service ace for CUC, the freshman. Just closest is Ghana at two. As a hard hit from Acacia Brown, it just sticks inside. Spot, you really have those errors because you're diving in to get those balls. Perkins, a strong push. Donahue going all the way back to the far side corner to pick it up. And here's a ball just in no man's land and Bethany Rothel stretching about as far as she could to get it and meanwhile never fun. Currently on a 3-0 scoring run. And Ghana blocked up. A rule change as Shira Marin, oh my goodness, a diving one-handed dig. CUC able to capitalize. We saw it all throughout Saturday. Coach Palmer, even when things are going well, is not afraid to shake this lineup. And there's an example of why Eve's of life in this third set. Adler for Christensen off the blockers, hands and down for a point. I'm sure the team is out of system, especially for a team that is their main strength. And how about another? Oh. Eureka, they get a point that off the Perkins service air as a kill from Foster off the blockers' hands. His company and Marin going down to a knee to make the play. Now Christensen, strong hit, strong kill. Hands of Shire Marin. See if she can end it with one more serve. Serve from Marin. Makes it over, ball up. Christensen tries to end it. Good dig there by O'Donohue, but not good enough. Dictating the pace of play. Now here's Christensen from the left side. Tries to place that one in. McPherson. Received by Christensen, set by Adler to Perkins. Over the block, and that'll drop down in play. Afson. Now White's going to pass that to Hunt on the right side. Hunt able to split the block. Now Chalker, now we received by Perkins. Now Hunt from across the court goes coach into McPherson, received by Marin. Adler sends that over to Christensen, and the cool lobby just has to send that one up. Now White to Adler, over to Foster, and Foster's able to get play overall, but McPherson to McPherson straight into the block, and Olivia McPherson served for the fourth time in a row. I uh, received by McConaughey, but it's an Aaron reset into Chowker. Set by Adler to Sh Christensen, who's able to get that pass. Mills. Three Knights just able to save it. Now Perkins sets for Christensen, and Christensen finds space on. This has to send it over for the Cougars. Colburn for Kowalski, blocked at the line by Dickens and Lee. White to Foster. And that'll drop in on the back line. Received by Foster. White just keeps it over. Perkins taps it back. Mills from the far side. Blocked at the line. Jess Perkins. Handle the rejection. Keep it alive. Adler sets for Perkins. And Perkins picks up that. Christensen receives. Adler sets. Hunt through the block and gets it down. That serve received by Rothel. Adler sets for Christensen, deflected at the line, but it's going to drop down on the Green Knight side of the court. That's received by Rothel, set by Adler up for Christensen. Christensen splits the block. That'll drop the serve once again. And that's going to drop down St. Norbert. We've seen it today with Colburn. Now White will set for Foster. Foster able to drop it in. Mills has to awkwardly send it over. 
Christensen taps it down, and the Cougars come back. And sets for Kudik again. Marin receives. Adler sets for Hunt. And Hunt drops. Foss received by Foster. White sets for Levi. Levi has to reach back for it. Now Mills blocked to the line and down. Levoy and Dickens. Now Colburn will set for Mills. Mills rejected at the line again. Two. Serves it across, received by Christensen. White to Perkins. And Perkins brings the Tabasco to end at the line. Rothel to Adler to Hunt. And Hunt gets that down. Gonna be set by Colburn for Kova. Lasky and Kova. Colburn sets for. Clark, and again, this could alive. Now Hunt, an errant set from Colburn, and Borkart sends it across. Now Perkins, that one will get down. Finally, the self. Now Clark tries to find space on the back line. Adler sets up for Hunt, and a Hunt perfectly plays some Mills. Tries to get that, no good. It'll go to Eve Dickin, and Eve Dickin power Keeper at that line for longer than just one serve. Hunt, that time it's not so far. And she'll get that into the middle, and it's an ace for Brooke Chris. Katowski sends that across. Adler sets up Perkins. This time Perkins brings. Going back and forth at the front line. Adler passes up for Foster. That's down on the far side. Neva Foster. Wrangled by the Cougars. Lightly. Brought back, Matthew looking to catch the Cougars off guard, not to be. And not quite as light of her head as the Forcers were able to get their eighth point after a bit of a drought. Rose able to receive it and sending it over is stately. One Ireland, Van Stone, Concordia able to respond. Concordia's number two, Eve Dickin. Here. And Adam, what do the Forcers need to do to slow down? kills like that. We'll get to that in a moment here as this play wraps up. But it's the way they're... Up to Van Stone, sends it over. Concordia is able to take it. And once again, competent scorer of Ireland Van Stone. Who is going to tap that serve. Number one in the conference, looking to retain their conference title come playoff time is Jessalyn Perkins. Her own power, which is always a good sign to see. She's still being attended to on the bench as we'll have a chance to up here in the booth. From Aitzman, there's Moren. Adler looks for Christensen. Good hit by Christensen. Moren to Adler. Strong hit by Perkins, and it goes. That's in that first set. Hadel for Adler. Livesay, she's blocked, but Hadel cleans up the rebound. Cougars back in control. They give it to Livesay again, and Livesay makes the most of it. Now, middle hit there. Cougars able to play some good defense. Now, Livesay extends the set. Nearly been between Rofel and White as the Cougars getting started here on the right note. Hitting percentage, their eighth, and hitting percentage, their eighth. Opponent assists, their six, and assists themselves. Four kills on the afternoon for Abby Prefrock as that ball way out of her. The majority of it trading blows with the number two seeded Falcons. But once we got to the middle of set, the Falcons started over for uh, Benter. Benter gets nothing on it. Now Christensen, good dig there by Noel Smith. He's been a defensive stalwart for the Falcons as that ball will fall for Adler. Prefrock back row attempt, no good there. At the net, 50-50 ball. The Falcons get it back. Ball over. There's Christensen going down to a knee for it. And now Perkins. Does that stay in? It does. Just long enough. Lakeland University, who is currently 5-2. and two. They are currently in 6. Other than that, you have right now two teams in the tournament who are below 500 within conference play. Dominican and I have a run here in their final five games after today. 
there's a very good chance they could still sneak into one of those last two playoff spots. Dominican and Illinois Tech and on St. Norbert and Edgewood versus Lakeland. That Edgewood-Lakeland game should be a good one. Other than that, Marion taking on Coe for in a non-conference. Uh, Aurora's got two games today, MSOE and then Wheaton later in a non-conference. So Pempt and the Cougars, desperation mode. They're still alive, and they get a point out of it. Adler, here's Rothold to Dickens. She'll swing. And she'll get it down. E Torres. And Rotho digs it up. Here's Adler out to Foster. Foster's going to swing. Aurora gets two. Set went back to Dylan. Heidel's got it corralled. Foster again, three in a row. It's going to be touched on somebody else here tonight. This time Dickin. And Dickin gets it down for her second kill of the set. Number two is Ruse. And that's going to go off the net. The first swing is going to be by Dickin. It's going to be. Touch, but head out of her. That's Hadel. Adler out to Foster. Foster swing. Torres. Nelson. Pellman. Christensen gets it up. Hadel. We've got a rally here, folks. There's Foster. Foster. Her hop. She could just turn and just pound that ball down. As there's Eve Dickin. Right. Hitting almost 500 now. That was her ninth kill. She leads all players here tonight. As that was Vance, but this time back to Torres. Rothel's got it. Adler will set outside. And Neva Foster to serve. Rothel will get it. Adler on the second touch. Christensen back row swing. And they'll give him the corner. Hellman near side. Rothel will take it. Adler will be Christensen back row again. This time Erickson. Nelson quick set in the middle blocked. Torres. CUC does get hands on, so Adler will serve Brown, and Brown's going to get her first kill. Have a one point lead. Marin, Adler out to Brown again. She'll swing, and she'll get another kill back to back. Very much a heavy hand, too. You can hear it in the gym. Deep here tonight on their home court. This team usually plays well at home as Neva Foster's. Adler. Back to the near side, hammering it home. CUC. The ace. Nineteen eight. Hammering it home. What a dig right there by Rothel. And the kill on the near side. Right side, Dickin, kill her to the near side, blocked. Gay, near side, blocked. Combo of Speed Bartles, oh, what a dig right there by White. Big swing from the ace, there's Marin again. Marion's had six aces, CUC, now chance for CUC. Hunt with the kill. She reeled him in again. Butchlick had it blocked. Point Cougars. Another chance for CUC to pull even. Dickin with the kill. What? Brown with the kill. Nice dig by Christensen. Wow. Near side live say with the kill and CUC lead. Duel blocked. That's going to drop. In. With that serve received throughout this season as a whole. Yeah, it's been one of the greatest points of difficulty for a very young CUC team, but one of those youngsters. The Illinois Tech really needs to minimize those opportunities from the Cougars. They're making it very easy for Concordia Chicago to retain possession right now. 200 kills on the year, so number 21 in the black jersey has been the star for Coach Johnston on his offensive attack as the Scarhawks almost kept it alive. It was a hit over the net that wasn't great. And you see it on that again, this court awareness to get those runs going. It's That's not the thing or kill runs is the opponent play. It's missed playoffs. We know that to be certain. But that kind of screwed your mindset too, going into a game that you know. Win this game 25 nothing in every set. It's not going to do anything for you. Death sentence for one of these two teams. Lily Hunt 
Little floater. Nice play there by Sebastio and a good block up front. Scarlet Hawks unable to get there. We have a freshman in Harmony Cooper, a freshman in Milena Adler, sophomore in Bethany Rachel de Libera. Assuming she plays out her career here at CEC, he's going to have a really good middle blocker for years to come. As now, not a great night for number 10. See if she can do something here. Blockers hands and out. Lily for CUC, who they're kind of living the good life for the last four years with Isabel Vernango, who is an all-conference level, level setter and always play all of his cards in the first few sets as Acacia Brown. And that is why she gets to partially offset all those service errors as the Cougars, they get a service A team is just because when they get into regular volleyball, regular volleyball play, mm -hmm. they're just such a strong...